So if you're just like blasting this baby with a mega, mega dose of this clobetasol propionate or whatever it was called, um, you would expect, you know, a like disintegration of muscle tissue, disintegration of What's up guys, Derek, morepolitesmorenates.com. Today we're going to be reacting to this uh, Chinese baby. And the reason why is, I know it sounds like, what the fuck are you talking about, Derek? Somebody sent me on Instagram this video called Steroid Cream Gives Chinese Baby Protruding and Hairy Cheeks. So, you know, expectedly, if it's about a steroid, you know, it's piqued my interest. And I see it has 1.1 million views in a few days. And we're on... Uh, South China Morning Post, which seems like, uh, I don't know, sort of like a news channel of sorts. But most of their videos, you know, they'll, you know, it's like 30, 20, 30,000 views and they just have this like random one. Well, they kind of get like random viral videos every like few days, it seems like. Like here, in the past couple days, they have, uh, you know, I don't know why, more than 1.6 million people have, million Chinese people have left. Areas in northeast to move to south. This one, sheep shorn of 35 kilogram fleece after being rescued in Australia. So, you know, some like certain viral shit just like pops off on their channel, but mostly, you know, it's like random, like basic news and stuff. But this one, you know, about a steroid, randomly, you know, does really well. So I'm like, oh shit, you know, this might be interesting. So here we are. And I accidentally just skipped to uh, the next video. So here we are back on the correct video. So this five month old saw her cheeks and forehead grow hair and protrude. So I'm gonna be getting into the science a bit and uh, you know, it might be interesting. So here we go. So the first thing a lot of people are gonna think is why would they be using a high concentration steroid cream? I, actually, I don't know if a lot of people realize like the difference between Anabolic steroids, corticosteroids, you know, like other steroids, like obviously even estrogen is a steroid. What a lot of people don't realize is a lot of hormones in the body are, you know, steroid hormones, but they don't behave like an anabolic steroid. Like that is a totally like a subcategory of steroids in general. So this reference here is not actually to an anabolic steroid. It is to a potent corticosteroid. So you've probably seen, um, I don't know, what's a good example? If you have like, uh, you know, some skin conditions, for example, you might use a uh, topical uh, cortisone. So like something like this would be, you know, used to attenuate, you know, some sort of response from a, um, could be autoimmune, you know, an inflammatory, you know, cascade that leads to some like massive irritation or something. Like the glucocorticoid receptor is something that is agonized by these things called corticosteroids. When I say agonized, I mean activated. So like, you know, traditionally how you have the androgen receptor to build muscle tissue, you would have the glucocorticoid receptor, which is activated in order to um, facilitate like anti-inflammatory actions, um, among other things. So, and interestingly enough, this is actually how some anabolic steroids facilitate their effects indirectly is through the antagonism of this glucocorticoid receptor. So when you have high amounts of cortico corticosteroids or very potent corticosteroids bombarding the glucocorticoid receptor, this is where you can end up with massive side effects in a, well, I'll just, you know, get to it. So her weight ballooned after using a cream with a high concentration of a corticosteroid. <laughs> So some of these side effects you see are like, for example, hypertrichosis. This is not really, uh, and when you see the hair growth, you're probably thinking, oh, this is like actual, you know, like anabolic steroid type side effects. You're like growing hair on your face as a baby. No, it's actually, interestingly enough, it's not like hirsutism where you have like a androgen, 
the androgenization, that's not even a word, the androgenicity of a compound, like causing the defeminization, the masculinization of a uh, baby, rather you just have like, like abnormal hair growth on the face. Like that is hypertrichosis, not something that like, like with minoxidil, that's like, you know, hypertrichosis, if you use it orally, that's what you can get. It doesn't, it doesn't induce hirsutism. So there is definitely a difference.我记得很清楚Guy's name is Daddy. All right. Wow. So this is like a corticosteroid that you would typically get, you know, by prescription only. This should not be something you find a high concentration of in like an over-the-counter cream or something like that. So I just Googled the uh, clobetasol propionate to see uh, what kind of contraindications it has. And notably studies in, so this a rodent model um, found that dosages up to, well, this is oral by the way, but 50 micrograms per kilogram per day revealed that the females exhibited an increase in the number of resorbed embryos and a decrease in the number of living fetuses at the highest dose. Um, pregnancy, teratogen, teratogenic effects, i.e. possibility of causing abnormalities in fetuses. Pregnancy category C, clobetasol propionate has not been tested for teratogenicity when applied topically. However, it is absorbed percutaneously and when administered subcutaneously, it was a significant teratogen in the both the rabbit and mouse clobetasol propionate has greater teratogenic potential than steroids that are less potent there are no adequate and well-controlled studies of the teratogenic effects of clobetasol propionate in pregnant women temivate cream and ointment should be used during pregnancy only if the potential benefit justifies the potential risk to the fetus so you know expectedly this particular corticosteroid is uh, pretty problematic for uh, newborns and shouldn't have been used in the first place. Wow, so osteoporosis. So the reason for this, again, remember the anti-catabolic properties of anabolic steroids. When they antagonize the glucocorticoid receptor, it prevents muscle protein breakdown. It prevents the, cat cat <laughs> the cat catabolism, it's hard to say for some reason, prevents the catabolism of different uh, structures in the body and whatnot. Whereas this uh, anti-inflammatory cascade caused by corticosteroid induced glucocorticoid receptor agonism can cause, you know, muscle loss, bone degradation, etc. So if you're just like blasting this baby with a mega, mega dose of this clobetasol propionate or whatever it was called, um, you would expect, you know, a like disintegration of muscle tissue, disintegration of bone quality. Um, this, uh, the interesting thing is the hypertrichosis. I'm actually not even certain what the mechanism of action is on that, but that would be interesting. And then the kidney stones too.
肯定不止我们一家宝宝这样的情况，还有好多种宝宝，他可能去医院检查了还查不出来。我就想让所有的宝宝家都知道。Wow. Okay, let me look at the comment section here. People in my country diss the EU for being so strict, but a country should be strict about what is and isn't allowed in products. Can't believe the company had the nerve to say it might have been caused by other products. The accountability. Shake my head. This kid's life is forever ruined. Company probably canned the generic steroid cream and sold it as baby lotion. Yeah, it seems like it.、Um, Yeah, that's crazy. So, anyways, hopefully you guys found that interesting. At least it's good to see that they came to, the, they found the root of the issue and are、uh, able to address it at least now. Whereas before they were just without even realizing applying the shit to their kid the entire time. So, anyways,、um, I don't know. Hopefully you learned some science from that. Hopefully you found it interesting. That was、uh, that was an interesting.、Uh, like for me, finding some of this shit. Like this is some of the stuff I find like randomly interesting. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, where I kind of give some crossover into how it applies in like the bodybuilding world, the pharmacology and whatnot, just let me know and I'll find the.、Uh, maybe I'll do more of this kind of stuff. But anyways, like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram. And more plates on Instagram, more dates, Facebook, Snapchat, Bitchy, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out. Anything I'm associated with in the video description below, my TRT clinic, it's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home, Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre workout formulas, design myself from scratch, and anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. I say that so fast now, I don't even know if I'm saying words at this point. I'm just like, <laughs> anyways, talk to you guys soon.